Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Xiaomi 11T versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 and the S20. It is a Exynos variant, no the Snapdragon and this phone is powered by Samsung Exynos 990 processor with 8 GP of RAM while the Xiaomi 11T is powered by new MediaTek Dimensity 1200 Ultra processor with 8 GP of RAM as well on the back. We have triple cameras on both phones, we have a 12 megapixel main camera, also we have a 64 megapixel telephoto lens which gave you a 3x optical zoom on the S20, also we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide while on the Xiaomi 11T we have a 108 megapixel main camera, also we have 8 megapixel ultra wide, also have a 5 megapixel telephoto lens which is a macro lens, also the back it is made up of glass on both phones, we have a Korean Gorilla Glass version 6 on the S20 as compared to Korean Gorilla Glass Victus on the Xiaomi 11T also to the frame on both phones also made up of aluminium on the bottom no headphone jack on both phones and that's really disappointing on the front we also have a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the 11T versus version 6 on the S20 so in this video I'm gonna show you how much a difference between a Xiaomi 11T versus the S20 from Samsung so now let's see the boot up test like always here we go logo is came up first on the S20 as compared to the Xiaomi also we have Android 11 on both phones we have we have UI version 12.5 while on the S20 we have Samsung One UI version 3.1 latest software on both phones and the Xiaomi 11 a little bit more faster when it comes to booting up about half second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. We have 6.67 inch Full HD AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. The display of the Lamity is can produce up to 1 billion colors. While on the S20 we have a 6.2 inch Quad HD Dynamic AMOLED with 120Hz refresh rate. And the display on the S20 it is also a little bit more curved as compared to the 11T. 11T is giving you a flat display. On the top we also have punch hole on both phones. And the bezels around the display it is much thinner on the S20 as compared to the 11T. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Let's see phone dialer that is very similar on both phones. So next on the list is the settings. Let's use faster, very similar. Now let's go to the display. 120Hz refresh rate on both phones. High option versus maximum option on both phones. Let's see Amazon shopping. And the S20 it is a little bit more faster as compared to the 11T. Now let's see the scrolling. Very smooth on both phones. 120Hz refresh rate makes everything more smoother. Now let's see some games application. Let's see Candy Crush Saga. Exactly the same on both phones and both phones also has a dual speaker. So here is the speakers of the 11T. Max volume. Here is the speaker of the S20. And you can see on the speakers of the S20 it is not as good as the 11T. So the speakers it is really really good on the 11T much busier as compared to the S20 Instagram exactly the same let's see pin out a little more faster on the 11T as compared to the Samsung Snapchat faster on the S20 now let's see Spotify same a little more faster on the 11T let's see Subway Surfer Faster again on the 11T as compared to the S20. Now let's see Tamper and 2 on both phones. We have some issue on the S20. But again 11T faster there. The S20 it is also already behind there. And the difference should be about half second difference there. Now let's quickly open the PUBG mobile on both phones. And let's see which one is faster. 11T faster. So that's really big difference. Also more obvious 11T faster and the S20 is take a lot of time. Now the S20 it is also done. On the S20 we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate. After that we have ultra frame rate. 
while on the 11T we have smooth graphics with 90 fps after that again we have ultra frame rate now let's opening up the router and the router faster on the 11T as compared to the Samsung now let's open the unto new benchmark and very similar on both phones so now let's run on both phones at the same time let's see which one is faster let's see that how it, how is the scores on the S20 you see the scores on the 11T but let's see how the S20 is stacked up against the Xiaomi 11T in the unto do benchmark Okay guys, I'm back and you can see that in the Xiaomi 11 it is more faster. Also you can see that in the scores it is much lower as compared to before. And you can see on the Xiaomi 11 we have 5,70,000 scores on the 11 On the 11 while on the S20 we have 6,13,000 scores on the S20. Also you can see that and the CPU temperature is goes up by 8% on the S20 while on the 11T is goes up about by 6% also you can see that and the battery usage it is very bad on the S20 now let's open this edge the edge faster on the 11T as compared to the S20 now let's see the scrolling very smooth on both phones 120Hz refresh rate makes everything more smoother so last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one launching the camera let it move faster on the S20. Also, we have a 3x optical zoom on the S20, which is not really available on the Xiaomi 11T. Overall, I have to say that if, if you want the best camera phone, I would say that the S20 it is a much better option as compared to the 11T. Now let's see internet browser speed. I am seeing the first Samsung internet browser on the S20, while on the 11T we have Google Chrome. Now let's quickly open the Wikipedia.org. Let it move faster on the 11T as compared to the Samsung. Now let's see the scrolling. Very smooth on both phones, no lag whatsoever. Let's open this English. Faster on the S20. Let's see the scrolling. Very smooth on both phones. The 120 hertz, it is very stable on both phones. Next on the list is the Apple.com. Apple.com faster on the 11T. Let it move faster there. Now let's see the scrolling. Very smooth on both phones, 120Hz refresh rate makes everything more smoother. So now let's see RAM management on both phones, both phones has 8GB of RAM. Now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management, phone dialer, that is seems like refresh. Let's see settings, no refresh. Amazon shopping, that card refresh on both phones. Let's see Candy Crush Saga, refresh on both phones. Instagram, no refresh. Let's see pin out, refresh, let's see snapchat, seems like refresh on both phones, let's see spotify, no refresh, let's see subway suffer, refresh, let's see temper and 2, refresh on the 11T, let's see pubg mobile, no refresh on both phones, so that's really surprising, now let's opening up the router, no refresh, let's see unto do benchmark, no refresh as well. Zedge, no refresh. Last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see. And cast over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the Xiaomi 11T is not as fast as the Samsung Galaxy S20 but I would say that in the game map during time the 11T is performed more faster there. Also in terms of the RAM wise both phones is performed really bad in the RAM image band. Not perfect on both phones. Also on the S20 we have 4000 mAh battery size while on the Xiaomi 11 we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging and the S20 also support 25 watt fast charging as well so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this p-test comparison between the Xiaomi 11 versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos
follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out